Hey, it's Kevin DeWitt here. In this video, we're going to have a look at vocal tuning using Melodyne. Firstly, if you are new to my channel and new to my videos and you like what you see, please click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. So Melodyne, it is a fantastic third-party plugin. I have uh, used it on and off for years. Uh, I definitely used it all the time when I was a Pro Tools user. When I went over to Cubase, um, I started using Very Audio mainly because of the integration with Cubase, not necessarily because it's a better product. I was getting the results that I wanted from Very Audio, so why not use it? But I still think to this day that Melodyne is probably the most superior vocal tuning product out there. And I don't think anything's really beaten it yet. So if you're not a Cubase user, or even if you are, you still may want to look at this uh, vocal tuning tool to uh, see if you prefer it, if you get better results from it. And it may depend on how heavy you need to tune, all that sort of stuff. So let's just get into it and have a look and uh, you can see how uh, I use it. So the trick with Melodyne is that there's obviously a few versions, so there's some more advanced ones. I don't have the advanced version, and I don't have an, even have a very new version. I am running version 2.12, which is quite old. They're on version 4 now, and it's the Melodyne editor that I own. So there's probably a lot of advanced features and other uh and updated looks and feels and everything else based on new plugins, but the concepts still apply. And what I'm showing here will be translatable across the other Melodyne plugins. So the trick with Melodyne is, is because it's not embedded into the software of Cubase or any other DAW, it is basically a third party plugin. We need to transfer the audio from our DAW into this plugin and then it stores that audio in its own little location and that's what it works on. Because it works on that, what it does is once you've loaded this plugin and you've put some audio into it, it then ignores the audio that's actually on the track and replaces it what is in its own software. So we can do a number of things when we transfer. We can either transfer parts individually, and that can be across the entire song. So you could do a little bit here, a little bit further down the song. Anything that you do not transfer in the middle will play live off the track and not in the plugin. So only what you've transferred to the plugin, the sections, will be played in the plugin. Anything that hasn't been transferred into the plugin will play live from the track. So you just need to keep that in mind. You can obviously load the entire vocal track into the plugin, which can be quite useful if you just want to be able to see everything in this plugin and be able to edit everything in this plugin. But you might only want to target one specific part. And if that's the case, just load that one part into the plugin. Don't bother with the rest. Now, because it's playing the audio from the plugin and not from the track, the best place to put this plugin is always first in your insert channels. Because if you place it afterwards, what it's doing is it will be seeing the processed audio. And what that also means is that if you have the plugin down here, it's playing the audio from this plugin here. So any changes you make to these plugins here that are before it will do absolutely nothing because it will only be what has been transferred into this plugin that will do it. So you always need to put this plugin first in the chain because it will play its audio then you want to go through your rest of your processing plugins here so that you can make changes on these without having to transfer the audio back into Melodyne every time. So this way Melodyne's getting the raw audio straight into it and then it's playing from there. 
Okay, so the way to get the audio in is basically we need to load the plugin, turn it on, we click transfer, and then we press play on our track. So if you want the world to smile with you, then you gotta let it go. Otherwise it's gonna get you. It'll kill you nice and slow. And then as soon as we stop it, it analyzes it and it draws the waveform here. So you'll see here, I only loaded this section here from bar 20 and it's left the rest blank and you can see all the notes that it's drawn in here we can zoom in vertically we can zoom in horizontally and we're basically looking at a very similar look to what we had before in very audio Now again, same as Very Audio, Melodyne is an offline plugin. It does not automatically quantize or pitch correct vocals as they're being played or as they're being sung. You basically load the track that's already been recorded into this plugin and then you can adjust. So same as we did with Very Audio, we, we can grab notes, but you'll notice in this regard here, it automatically plays the note as we click on it, but we can move it around. Now again, in the case of this plugin, where it is tuned, so if it's slightly off note, we move it. It automatically moves it to the same off tuned position, but just up another note. In this regard here, if we hold the control, sorry, if we hold the alt key down while I do it, I can then go very manual and find the spot there. You'll also notice up here, it's telling us the note. It's also telling us how off it is. So we can manually put it right center of the note or detune it or tune it up. Now what we can also do is again, we could select all the audio or we could select a section and we can actually go over here to this button that says quantize pitch. And if we go to this quantize pitch here, we then have this ruler here that we can go 100% to center it to pitch or vary it. Pretty much exactly the same as we were doing in very audio. So we could go all the way and we also have this drift, pitch drift, which again is a bit like the straightener. It's not quite straightening it. It's just trying to get the notes back online so they don't vary too much. So you'll see as I pull it full, as opposed to very audio, which made a flat line, this does not make a flat line, but it does try to flatten out. So it's more turning the angle up so where these are lower and that's higher it's bringing them up to be more center now it's also suggested a key here of d major so you could even click to snap it to d major and then because we've got our quantize here it's snapping the notes to that that key so if we unclick it, we get this. So let's just have a listen to that. So if you want the world to smile with you, then you gotta let it go. Go, 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 go. But if we open this up here and let's go snap to D major now. So it's attempting to work out the key and adjust to suit. So if you want the world to smile with you, then you gotta let it 
Now we have the other features like we have the BPM here, so we could we can actually do some quantizing of time, not something that I've ever really used. We obviously have undos and we have various tools here. So we've got our main tool here, which is usually a cursor. We could move it to a hand. And that way we could drag it around. We can move it to a zoom tool and we can zoom in and out. We have our pitch tool here. So by default, if we do that, we are moving the notes up and down. We can change the pitch. We can change to a pitch modulation tool. So when we do that, we are then. So now we've had the ability to flatline it. So we get those extreme effects. Or we can go back out. We can bring it in subtly. Just mute the track while I do this. So we can use this tool to adjust how much the waveform varies, how wavy it is, or how much it's brought in. We then have our pitch drift tool. So again, that was similar to what we did in here, but this one's more of an automatic tool. These are actually doing things manually. So we can drag that in again. Again, it's this one's not making a flat line. It's just adjusting the front and back position there so you can level them out. We have a formant tool here. So we can actually bring up the formant without moving the notes. So let's just take this back to default setting for a second. Yep, back to there. So let's just quickly listen to this bit. So if you want the world to smile with you. Now, if we were to change the format of this. So we're keeping the note, we're keeping the note the same, but changing the formant or the quality of the sound there. We also have an amplitude tool, so we can actually make a note quieter or louder. So we can manually go through and edit notes that are too loud, too soft with that. We have a trimming tool. So again, we can start to trim notes. This is sort of locked to the grid, but again, if I hold the Alt key, I can go manually. So we can start to play with the timing of notes and get some interesting effects or fix up some things that just aren't quite right. And again, we've got this note separation tool here. So again, this note here we might say is not quite right. There's two separate notes there. So we are going to trim the note there. So what we do is we just find these notes, double click, and we start separating the notes. This way we can ensure that the tuning is happening to the notes in the correct position. So we can chop all these up. So they look a little bit more realistic to what we had. And then we can select them again. And we could go and quantize them. Okay, done. And there we've got our tuning going on for there. So if you want the world to smile with you, then you... So we've obviously done a few weird things there. Stuff that up a little bit. So here's something to keep in mind. So Here's our Melodyne plugin sitting here. Now, 
let's just say I'm sitting here and I want to edit this vocal. I don't like this part. There's something wrong with it. I want to chop that out. So I do this. So if you want the world to smile. You'll notice there that I can take all of that audio out. So if you want the world to smile with you. And it doesn't change because it's playing what's in the plugin and it hasn't been removed from the plugin. So to remove it from the plugin, you either need to delete these notes from the plugin. So we... Or you need to transfer that section back in to blank it out. So now we'll have a blank. So that's one thing you need to keep in mind because that was a trick when I used to use Melodyne all the time that I would start editing and doing fades on a vocal track to find that it was not doing anything and then realize the reason is because Melodyne was the one that was playing the audio files. So if you have cleanup tasks to do on your vocal track and getting rid of noise and bad bits, etc., I suggest you do that first on the raw track before you load it into Melodyne to do the tuning. Because once you load it into Melodyne, that's what it's going to play. It's going to include all those noisy bits. Whatever in there that you don't like is in there. You either need to edit in Melodyne or reload it into Melodyne. And if you reload it by doing the transfer again, then you need to start from scratch with your tuning because it's not going to remember your tuning. So keep that in mind. That's one disadvantage to using the plugins for this. Other than that, Melodyne is a great tool. It works fantastic. It's very easy to use, as you can see. It is very good quality. It's like the best out there that you can get for quality-wise. So definitely a great tool and this one will be extremely subtle and will have the least amount of noticeable tuning errors than any of the other plugins or inbuilt software there is. So there you go that is uh, Melodyne as I've shown you it is a great product all right it is a third-party product so it's not fully integrated into Cubase so if you are a Cubase user or any other DAW you'll have to see how this works with your software, whether you get the benefits out of it. As I did state, I have mainly been using Very Audio now because of the integration, not necessarily because it's a superior uh, vocal tuning tool. Melodyne, I still believe, is the superior tool, but I get the results that I need and I get a faster workflow, etc., with Very Audio. But Melodyne is definitely cream of the crop when it comes to vocal tuning, so give it a try. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Do you use it? Do you not use it? Why? I'd love to hear your opinion. If you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments as well. Love to help wherever I can. If you found the video useful, please click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Hopefully the video has been helpful. I thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.